You have a OnePlus 6T and ask yourself what you can do with it. In this video I'll show you some quick tips and tricks for your OnePlus 6T. Of course we start with the notch. If it still bothers you with its drop shape, go to settings display notch display to hide it. Status symbols will still be displayed here so the display space won't be useless. To set up the new in-display fingerprint sensor, go to settings, security and lock screen, fingerprint and follow the instructions on the screen to set it up. Same goes for the super fast face unlock. After setting it up, tap fingerprint again and you can change the scanning animation or set up when the indicator is shown for example after picking up your phone or tapping on the screen. Under the face unlock settings you can activate assistive lighting which lights up the display in white if it's too dark and you can choose if the display should be directly unlocked or if you have to swipe first. To migrate your contacts, data, photos, apps and more to your new device, launch the app called OnePlus Switch on the 6T and install it via Google Play Store on your old device. After scanning the QR code, both phones will be connected and you can start the migration. If your old phone is not a OnePlus, you have to log into some apps again. Instead of taking a screenshot by pressing the power and volume down button simultaneously, go to settings, buttons and gestures, quick gestures and activate free finger screenshot. Now you can take screenshots by swiping down with free fingers. For a scroll shot, just tap the third symbol from the left after taking the screenshot. In the same gestures menu, there is more to activate like flip the phone to mute, double tap to wake up from standby and music control which lets you pause music or change the song by drawing gestures while the screen is off. You can also assign apps or actions to letter gestures which work the same way. Going back to buttons and gestures and tapping navigation bar and gestures, you can choose between the traditional or the new Android navigation gestures which I explained in the Pixel 3 XL video. The third option works like this. Swipe up from the button for home, swipe up and hold for recent apps and by tapping the three dots you can lock apps so they don't get closed if you decide to close everything. And you can enter split screen mode here. Swipe up from the middle to open the app drawer and down for the drop down menu. Swipe up from the bottom left or right to go back and do this gesture to get to the previous opened app. These gestures don't change their orientation. Of course to protect your eyes it's important to mention two settings you can find under settings display or in the drop down menu. One of them is night mode which filters blue light emissions and can be automatically timed. Unique to OnePlus is reading mode where you can set apps which should automatically start in this mode. It makes the display go black and white with a change in color temperature depending on the environmental lighting. The ambient display is now automatically activated out of the box. Under settings, display, ambient display, you can set up that it gets active after lifting the device or touching the display. It shows you notifications, the clock, date, battery percentage and the fingerprint sensor position. You can also choose between 4 clock themes here. The theme of the menus can be changed here as well. You can choose between colorful, light and dark mode. Even accent colors, fonts and more can be changed here. Going to screen calibration you can switch between color gamuts or even custom temperatures. Another menu here is status bar. Here you can choose the battery icon style and activate battery percentage or use the icon manager where you can hide certain status symbols you don't want to see anymore. Go to settings, utilities to set up gaming mode and go to parallel apps to clone your social media apps if you like to use multiple accounts on the same device. Here you can also set up which apps should be locked and can only be launched with a pin or fingerprint. Additionally, you can swipe right from the left corner of the app drawer to enter hidden space where you can hide apps by tapping on the plus button. For locking away files instead, open the file manager, tap lockbox and set a pin. Afterwards, select the file you want to hide, click the three dots on the upper right and select move to lockbox. Tap and hold the home screen to access the home screen menu. Tap this to sort your apps or go to home settings where you can set up downloadable icon packs, change the layout, activate or deactivate the shelf or activate double tap to lock. If you want that the camera switches to night mode automatically, which now also does a short long exposure without a tripod, open the camera app, swipe up here and choose settings where you can activate it. These were some quick tips and tricks for the OnePlus 6T. If you like this video feel free to give us a like otherwise the dislike button is right next to it. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future content. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Umit for Mobile Geeks.